remind everyone who's here that we are part of a weekend of international solidarity to end the use of armed drones in warfare. We are not a very big group today, but we are part of a larger group of people around the world who are saying no, no to armed drones, no to robotic warfare, no to killing children and grown-ups in the interest of political aims that have nothing to do with people's welfare and desire to live peaceful lives. So even though we are not very big in numbers, here today we are very much part of bigger numbers around the world. The flags you see, the attempt to have a little bit of lightness is a way not of denying the meaning of why we're here, but to talk about the solidarity of why we're here. Yes. So please feel good about that. You are connected to decent, peace-loving people around the world. Hey everybody, uh, I came up with the bicycle Bicyclists for Peace here. There's, and there were, uh, there were six of us. Uh, Gary, Vani, Jen, Andy, and... Uh, where you at, Lanny? Where you at, Lanny? Uh, he's around here anyway. And uh, we were singing some of our way up, and, and so we wanted to, to maybe lead a little bit of this song, which uh, Vani's going to help us out with. served in the service, uh, and uh, in part because of that experience, uh, our foes opposed to uh, war and the militarization of the American economy and our foreign policy and the use of drones. Uh, there's four of us came up from Rochester. Uh, there might be more. There's a, there's a couple from Syracuse. And, uh, we're glad to be here. Uh, anybody who's a veteran here, uh, we welcome you to join our ranks, uh, and we're trying to grow uh, as much as we can. We're both uh, Syracuse and Rochester, and uh, basically uh, recently revived our chapters. Thank you very much. Thank you for this opportunity to speak. The Green Party values support people, peace, and the planet. And we know that drones kill people, they don't bring peace, and they also help destroy the planet. Unfortunately, I don't have a song for you, but I have a great candidate running for governor, Howie Hawkins, and I hope you will support him this year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm from Trimmersburg, New York. Are there any other certified arborists there? I know everybody's a tree lover. You don't have to be a certified arborist to love trees and understand our plight. Um, but uh, I have a feeling that every tree here, including the ones on the base, is against the drones. Yeah! I would love to be able to climb some of those trees over there, those black locusts, the wonderful black locust trees. Great gift of uh, the Creator to us all. Very rot resistant, wonderful blossoms for honey. Um, but I'm not allowed to do that today. I would be prepared to. <laughs> I would love to climb those trees. Um, but. Uh, I also uh, have a sign which reflects my feeling about drones. I think it's undeniable that drones have certainly killed thousands of children, including unborn children along with their mothers. Um, drones are inherently anti-life. Uh, the people who operate drones here need to think seriously about what they're doing. Um, pray for them and pray for us all in these difficult times and uh, that our love will show itself in resistance to these drones continuously. Thank you. My name is George Payne. I'm representing Gandhi Earth Keepers International today. Frankly, I don't want to be here. I'm sick of coming to these things. 
I really don't want to spend my day like this. I'd rather be at home with my wife. Yeah. I'd rather be watching football today. There's a lot of other things I'd rather be doing today. But the fact of the matter is, if I don't come today, I'm breaking the law. After World War II, the Nuremberg Law was passed. Every single United States citizen has an obligation when they know that their government is breaking the law. When international laws have been broken, we cannot remain complicit. And I'm speaking to every soldier here. If I don't show up today, I'm breaking my government's law. I'm breaking international law. Every single soldier here has an option today. We're going to have to be held accountable for this. It's not going to be this generation. Ten years from now, yeah. 20 years from now, you're going to have to stand up and you're going to ask yourself, did you know what was going on? Were you involved? The Germans buried their head in the sand. The Germans looked the other way. The Germans looked for excuses. Killing people to stop people from killing people to show the world that killing people is wrong is an idea that needs to die. As we just had this um, piece about what's happening in the rest of the world, it seemed very relevant now for me to present our, on behalf of the Central New York Task Force seeking peace between Palestine and Israel. I'm here to represent our CMY group. We abhor the use of drones hovering, surveilling the inhabitants of the West Bank and of Gaza and say and arming and say arming these drones with hellfire missiles breaks international law and agreements with the United Nations and is not only illegal but is immoral and murderous. We see, having built two factories designed to produce drones here in the USA by Israeli businessmen, is an infringement of the support given to Israel by the US and abuse of the goodwill of US citizens. Thank you. And I'd like to say, this is World Communion Sunday. And I, in churches throughout, throughout this country and throughout the world, depending on their time span, we have been praying for this pain-stricken people of our world. Thank you. All these other mothers against drones. <laughs> Can you hear me? Great. I, I am... I am only one of millions of mothers all over the world against the drones. Many years ago, Dan Berrigan said that the sin of modern people is that we make abstract what is concrete. And this happens so that we can say things we want to be able to say, like support the troops, the drones are keeping us safe. But I want to make that very, very concrete on behalf of the children. I'd like each person here, each soldier, the commander of the base, to identify a child by name and age that they are willing to sacrifice and kill. Thank you. And I do want to include in this gathering our cousins, our non-human cousins, the trees, the bees, yes. and all the rest of this beautiful earth. Yes. And uh, I am a human speaking to you all as humans, and there's a lot of us on the planet, and we face some pretty significant challenges for our survival and for the survival of the other our cousins and the other beings on this planet. And we talk about international law. That's kind of a bloodless phrase that can go right over your head, kind of abstract.
But what we are talking about specifically here is an agreement that has been entered into by all nations of the world that war of aggression, acts of aggression, attack specifically, are always, they have to end if we are going to continue our life together on this planet. That's what we refer to the Nuremberg Treaty, the UN Charter. That's the most important agreement that we humans have ever made with each other. And it is, includes every nation on the planet. And right here, we can see an utter contempt and violation of that agreement in the words of the attack base. That in itself is a very, very dangerous, very dangerous precedent. And I don't know the word. Uh, it's just complete contempt for these human agreements that we have made, and they've come out of great bloodshed. We've decided that there isn't any alternative except to ban war and to ban attack. That's a promise that the United States made to the world. We're asking you and ourselves to keep these promises that we have made. These are contracts, they're agreements. That's why we're here, is to ask you all, and none of you have to obey orders. You all know that. You have to follow the Constitution and the larger laws before you obey any orders. And that goes for the cops as well as the soldiers. And what's at stake here is a lot. That's the point I want to make, and that's where I'm going to bring in the bees and the trees specifically. These agreements are important to end this kind of violence and to end the, the horrible deaths that we see and witness. But more than that, they're about us humans being able to make and honor agreements with each other on this planet. And I think we can all agree that that's going to become more and more important as every generation goes on. We need to strengthen our ability to make agreements with each other. And we see here a complete undermining of any ability for humans to cooperate with each other. That's what's going on right here with this attack base. And so that's why it's so important. It goes much beyond the horrible deaths that are, that are occurring from here. It really is undermining our ability to survive on this planet. So this is serious, and, and uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say. So um, I feel like when I say I'm for no Syria intervention, I'm sort of like friends of the skunk uh, in our current social uh, propaganda regime. But uh, I want to say that um, how does this connect to drones? Well, there's drones flying over Iraq and Syria right now. And the White House, uh, who we had like backed off a little bit, so they said, well, we, they made a rule for themselves. We won't, we'll try not to kill civilians. And they've actually abated the drone strikes a little, have made it clear that in Syria and Iraq, it doesn't count. Because this is a war. So if we kill civilians, it's OK. Now, uh, the rules of war are uh, called the humanitarian law. And the first rule is, don't kill civilians. So uh, this is a big mistake. We are starting a new war. It already has involved large numbers of drones, and they're already killing people in two new countries, Iraq and Syria, added on to uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, and wherever else. So let's uh, really stand against this before they get rolling any faster than they're going. And, uh, do everything you can to let it be known you don't want this new war. Thank you. appreciate all the people that came out here today, and you all know how important this is. 
but I know a lot of people here. I've seen most of you before. And if we really are ever going to have any effect on the way that this country works, it's not going to be talking in front of these guys because, frankly, they don't care what we think. We need to get more people involved in this process. And in community organizing, you know, you need to appeal to people's self-interest. And the cost of drones and the cost of war is a war of itself on the poor people of this country um, that are, are being supported. Uh, they're cutting food stamps, they're you know cutting housing aid, um, the military, the militarization of the police state is attacking the people of this country and eventually that will involve drones. Uh, so I hope that every one of you has an honest conversation with everyone you know about the cost of our military and the cost to us, the cost to the people here. Because you know we believe in other people, we believe in the earth, the planet, and having peace. Um, but there's been a context created by even some of the people that are standing within these borders that in order for us to have peace here, we must have war somewhere else. And that idea can't continue. And until we address that idea, then we're going to be standing here with the same group of people every single time, and they're going to continue to do what they do. So we're going to have a song from Colleen. One more statement. Yeah. <clears throat> Just wanted to let you know that Geneseo is here in support. I'm Vicki I'm Vicki Farmer. I'm with Genesee Valley Citizens for Peace. And we have friends who have created a new student group. Yay! Hold the mic. I'm Lily Perry. I'm part of Peace Action Geneseo. Um, you guys know why. I'm against drones. I want all of you to know that uh, us young people, us college students, uh, we care about this just as much as everybody else, and we Yay. will do anything for peace. Inspiring to see students. Yeah. Coming up to speak for a moment is Ellen Grady who's been exceptionally active in Ithaca. The people from Ithaca are a cadre of incredibly dedicated and energetic people who in addition to everything else are making the trek up here from Ithaca on a regular basis. Um, Ellen is going to talk to you a little bit more about the, the context of this gathering in a larger picture. Thank you, Ray, and thank you. It's so great to see everybody here today. Um, I am part of the Upstate Coalition uh, to ground the drones and end the wars. And uh, our, in case people don't know about that coalition, we are a group that's uh, uh, formed about five years ago um, to address the issue of the drones that are manned from Hancock Airfield. Um, and. This group consists of people from Buffalo. Yay, Buffalo for coming so far! And Rochester! It's the call! And we also have people from Binghamton! From Binghamton. different kinds of protests here for, for the past five years. There's a bi-weekly vigil that happens. Anybody is invited to join that. Um, what day is it? On Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. 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 Check the Peace Council the first third. website. First and third Tuesday. First and third Tuesday. Please join at 4.15. Um, but I think that I wanted, what I wanted to share is um, I asked um, these guys to come up, the kids to hold this, uh, this sign. Um, and my, my another daughter of mine came up to me, she said, Mom, what does that sign mean? And, um, and I'm just going to oh, read it out loud. Oh, there, yes. there shall be no more improper touching of the children of the world or their families yes. with, your, with your Hellfire missiles and your 500-pound bombs. Yeah. Yeah. So for anybody who does not know, a couple of the colonels at the base here have taken out orders of protection against over 50 of us 
for our nonviolent civil resistance um, that we have done here at the base. They want us to go away, they don't want us here, and one of the tactics is to take out an order of protection against us. They need to be protected from us. They don't want the truth to be in their in their driveway. They don't want the truth to be at this base. And so um, we decided after uh, a little reflection, actually it didn't take a lot of reflection to say, who needs these orders of protection? And really, it's the children. It's the children that need the orders of protection. And so we will continue to bring their voices and to bring their, their, their pictures here to the base. Um, and so um, that's just one thing. Anyway, um, so the, other, the only other thing that I wanted to share is the Upstate Coalition uh, we are a very, very, very grassroots organization, and it's uh, we're very uh, humbly trying to do some of this work, and we need a lot more help, and yes. we would love more help. And um, so we have uh, some organizational meetings coming up soon. If anybody has extra energy, we'd love for that energy to be, be part of what we're doing. And um, because there's so much more work to do, and there's just so few of us. And so it would be great to have that energy uh, as part of what we're doing. So get in touch with me or, or any of us up here at the front. Thank you very much. I think that's all I need. that this is based on the words of Raz Muhammad when he testified because this has been a process and of course these are the these are the children and they they don't want to be called the Afghan youth peace volunteers anymore because they feel that they're too old for that because um, some of them are gotten a little older we keep doing that but they started this blue scarf movement that there's one blue sky above us and they want peace under us so anyway, this song was based on the words of Raz Muhammad on his testimony about drones. And uh, I'll sing the chorus first, and then once you hear that and learn that, you're welcome to sing that with me, you know, every time that we come to that. Drones bury beautiful lives. Drones bury innocent lives, killing sons, husbands, daughters, and wives. Drones bury beautiful lives. Five young men were killed having tea. They'd gathered quite innocently Since the death of my brother-in-law I have no peace of mind left at all Drones bury beautiful lives Drones bury innocent lives Killing sons, husbands, daughters, and wives. Drones bury beautiful lives. At home I can't sleep through the night. It draws too much attention at night. My folks fear a drone strike by mistake. 
children, families, all of us quake. Drones bury beautiful lives. Drones bury innocent lives. Killing sons, husbands, daughters, and wives. Drones bury beautiful lives. Drones bury beautiful lives. Drones bury innocent lives. Killing sons, husbands, daughters. I am the limbs of the children killed by the drone, gathered from the broken trees, a sad, frightening fruit, an alien among its own, hands that once clapped, faces that laughed, legs that have forgotten their dances, now too common. In Yemen and Pakistan, the limbs are scattered across the land. Somalia, the Philippines, and Afghanistan. Toes without feet, removed from their resting places, not rubble in the rubble, among the broken homes, missing children, missing spouses, scattered limbs in shattered homes, rocks and sticks and fingers, an eye that stares at you but cannot see. All is breathless at the sight, pieces of children, a very quiet ear, all alone in the night. A finger that can do nothing but be the missing finger of a tiny child that Michelle will never meet as she sleeps beside the Severa. And we need to get up and use our strength and our love and our solidarity to reach out. Every child has a name. Every child has a name. Right. All our you can sing this song with me if you want. It's called uh, Tear Them Asunder and it's on the song sheet. You go home. Genesis, you want to come sing with me? Yeah. Take those drums, tear them asunder.
sing along, feel free to sing along. The verse and the chorus have the same melody. All right, so that's it. Yeah, can you hold that? Can you hold All right, so it goes like this. It's on the song sheet if you haven't. It says, no, it's a no, called No Drones. We don't want no drones. We don't want no drones. We don't want no drones in the sky. If you didn't have drones, we'd leave you alone. But we still would end all warfare by and by. If you didn't have drones, we'd leave you alone. We'd be all home doing our thing. But you do have drones, and until those drones are gone, we'll be here loud and clear with a song to sing. And it goes like this in the chorus. We don't want no drones. We don't want no drones. We don't want Rockets and grenades, the bewildering array of weaponry. If you didn't have guns, we'd all be having fun, and we'd live an ever after happily. Oh, no, 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 no. Neither does the Pope in Rome. 